Welcome to part two of the Stabe video update on the CGY 753X Gyro. If you haven't seen part one yet, I'd suggest you jump back and take a look at that one. Now, what we're going to cover in part two is all the programming menus that are used for the CGY 750. Let's get right to it. Let's look at the uh, rudder basic menu real quickly. Uh, first thing we come to is setting up our servo type, then our gyro direction, pretty standard stuff here. Servo limits, uh, very important of course, this is where we're going to determine uh, how far the tail uh, rotor pitch system uh, moves back and forth. In our flight modes, we are setting either 3D or Sport, and this is where the unit kind of does some of its own parameter setting to uh, give you the kind of feel that you might like. 3D, of course, is a little more crisp, the Sport mode is a little softer feel overall, and again, you can get into the expert menus and change all of that however you want. So there's our rudder basic menu. We'll move on to the next one, aileron basic. And we won't do elevator, but we'll just kind of flip through the ailerons here. Again, aileron gyro uh, compensation direction. Our gain settings, if we're not running a system uh, like the uh, 8FG that has uh, gain settings for all three gyros on the transmitter, you can actually uh, set them up within the CGY 750. Work mode is, uh, if you're in CMT, that's going to allow you to come in and out of the AVCS mode or normal mode using a, a, stitch, a sw switch on the transmitter. Uh, if we have it in another mode, then, you, uh, then it's going to be locked in. So there's back out of the aileron basic menu, and we'll move on to, skip over that one, to the swash set. Now, unlike um, most gyros, you're actually going to set up your swash type straight in the CGY 750. So you don't, you actually set your transmitter to H1 and you do the rest of the setting right here in the 750. Servo types again. Helicopter size, this is a kind of unique thing. You can set it to a 450 size, 600, 700, whatever you want. And again, this is the unit doing some basic setups for you so that it kind of gets you in the ballpark. If you don't like the way it feels, then you can get in there and uh, do your own changes. Flight mode is, is, again, along those same lines. There's five different flight modes. It defaults to flight mode three, which is kind of a middle of the road setting. If you're a 3D guy, perhaps, and you like a very crisp feeling, a lot of pirouette rate, things like that, then you're gonna wanna maybe move up to a four or five. If you're a scale guy or maybe just learning, you may be a two or a one. So again, it's going through setting up all these different parameters for you within the unit. And again, you got that expert menu if you wanna get into uh, setting up your own things. Servo reversing or, or uh, compensation reversing. Pitch. And here we'll set up our neutral positions if we need to. Yeah, our aileron uh, rates. Pitch rates, swash ring. If you don't have a swash ring on your transmitter and you want to use one, it's right there in the CGY 750 for you. And we're back out of that. So really a lot of stuff that you can set up in here. Looking at our governor basic menu, well, again, we'll, uh, here we can uh, set up the RPM and uh, whether the governor is on or off. Gear ratio, of course, very important. You have to match the, what your helicopter has in this unit so it knows how to actually determine the RPM. Servo types, stick switch. Uh, if you're setting up a stick switch, which most of us are going to do, uh, this is where you do it. If we are running S-Bus and we don't have a receiver connected right now, you can actually put a hard switch in line with this uh, to turn the uh, governor on or off uh, via the switch as opposed to using a stick switch. Battery fail-safe, yaw compensation is uh, whether the, the unit, the sensor is mounted on the top or the bottom of the uh, helicopter. Our limit settings, a very important setup here, tells, uh, tells the CGY 750 how far your throttle is throwing. And of course you start out by setting idle, then the high setting, and then you get into the limit testing where it's going to actually cycle it for you so that you can assure that you're set up properly. This is a handy little screen. Um, shows you how well your uh, sensor and the magnet are talking to each other. If they were in close proximity right now, this number here would uh, increase or decrease. You want to be above 60% at least, but um, Pretty easy to get it up to about 96% with no problem whatsoever. Just a real handy setup tool. And that's our governor basic menu. 
The next menu is the uh, SBUS menu. We won't go into that right now. Very simple. Just tells you what, uh, what channels are being output where so that you can match them with your transmitter. So that's all your basic menus for the CGY750. And again, if you don't like uh, all the parameters that it sets automatically for you, you always have those expert menus to go into and you can set anything that you want within those menus. Well, we hope you enjoyed this look at the CGY750. For Photoba Video Update, I'm Steve Califf. Stop by next time when we look at some more exciting Photoba products.